Hi, it's Sam from Transic Dev. In this video, I want to take you through our Control 4 driver for the KEF LS50 Wireless 2 speakers. Once you've got the driver from the website, head over into Composer. And we're going to go to Driver, Add or Update Driver. We're going to find the KEF LS52.c4z file that we've downloaded from the site. We're going to hit Open. Um, Composer's going to accept it. And then we're going to install it into our project. So to do that, we go over to Search. I'm just going to type KEF LS50, hit search, and there's the newer KEF LS50 Wireless 2 IP driver. So I'm going to double click that, and it adds itself into the project. So once you've done that, you go over and you put the IP address of the device in. So mine's on 192.168.3.104. I'm going to hit set. The device will check its licensing because we've made a major change to the settings. It comes back licensed. It confirms the current version number. So again, for reference, anybody that wants to find the version number of the driver, it is in the license info field. So we've got driver licensed. We've got the MAC address of the controller and we've got the version number of the driver. We purposely put these in here. If you're having any licensing issues or versioning issues, you can just use the licensing info field to find the MAC address of your controller and the version of the driver you've used. So once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and make some connections. So I've already got a IR Apple TV and an IR Sony TV in here just to make some connections with, just to show you the setup. Um, I'm just gonna connect our room endpoints up. Oh, missed one. Then we're gonna put a source in. So for this, I'm going to use um, optical from the Apple TV. You'll notice on the outputs, I'm sorry, the inputs, for optical, coaxial, analog, we've actually got optical, coaxial, and stereo marked as a viable input for them all. That means if you're using any sort of format adapters, um, you don't need to put in some sort of dummy driver in the middle. And they are all labeled, so we've got three identical inputs for optical. They're all the one input, and it just gives you the different connection types just to make the linking in Composer a little bit easier. And I've already linked up the Sony Bravia, so there we go. It's got the Apple TV connected directly into it. And then we would refresh Navigators, and that would be our very simple KEF setup completed as well. It's worth noting on the inputs, <coughs> the KEF has HDMI ARC, which uh, the Minute Control 4 doesn't understand HDMI um, return from a TV in that exact scenario. So what we've done is we have put it in as an input there and we've we've give it the connection types of coaxial, optical and stereo. So what you might or what you should be able to do is um, tell control four that you have pulled optical audio back from a television and that you've connected that optical audio into I'll just do it here into the TV and then into the KEF. The driver will then flick the KEF over to what Control 4 thinks is an optical input, but it's actually going to pull the HDMI ARC input source instead. So that should get around the issue of HDMI ARC in C4. So once you've done that, that will be your setup complete. I just want to also show you the programming. Um, the KEF driver does include some very basic transport controls. Um, so if we do that, we're going to programming. We go to KEF LS50, Wireless 2. We go down to device specific commands and in there you've got pause, stop, next and previous. You can write macros to control those if you wish. Um, and that's it. That's it for that driver. Um, let us know in the comments on YouTube or send a request through to the website if you want to see this driver updated to support media content navigation. Um, the unit does have streaming capabilities built in. It's able to access Deezer and other different services. If you want to see that actually available in the Control 4 system as navigatable content, just uh, drop us a message in the comments or say put a driver request through on our website. And that's the KEF driver for Control 4. Thanks very much for watching.